Good morning guys. So in this step we're going to go ahead and mount our Z axis. Uh, bomb for this one is two C-beam end, uh, end plates, some M5 by 55, 60, 65, they protrude down, doesn't really matter length, um, as long as they're at least 55. Two inch and a half uh, spacers, those can also be 40 millimeter spacers. Uh, 500, sorry, 250 length uh, Acme screw. I've got eight quantity M5 by 25. I was waiting on an engraving job to finish, so I went ahead and installed one. Two quantity 688ZZs, two quantity lock collars, one NEMA 23. And uh, of course, our pre built uh, Z axis that we already put together in a previous step. As I said, I've already went ahead and installed this. Um, this one end plate. There's really nothing to this stuff. We're just going to slap it on there. So, let's get started. Alright guys, the hardest part of this whole step here is, is the Acme. Um, I've built four of these now. Three of them, uh, if you recall in previous step, we set we set this height and then we tighten the acne blocks down. I've had one though that it really fought me. Um, this one you can see there's a light bit of tension as I go through the second block but I can still turn it with both hands pretty easy. Uh, not too big of a deal to get through there. I uh, did have one that fought me a little bit so what I ended up having to do was take the end cap off slide it out there and basically redo the adjustment. It's not very hard and I highly encourage that. Don't don't try to run, uh, don't take a drill and run them through the box or anything like that. You're gonna mess up the threads. I mean, I don't wanna say don't do it at all. I'm <laughs> kinda of being uh, a crawfish on you here. But it, you can run it through there, but I have to, I have to really caution you guys. Uh, don't grab the drill and run it up and down several times really fast. The friction will create a lot of heat. These are Durlin plastic. You can literally melt these blocks running it up and down with a drill. Um, I've seen it done a couple of times. Um, so, if the measurement's off, go ahead and take the whole thing back apart. Run the screw through it. Tighten the bolts back up. Remember, these shouldn't be like just synced in really hard into the, uh, into the plate. You want them just where they'll hold their position, right? And I've got zero play up and down, so that's really it. Once you get that installed, you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move these things. As I said, I, I went ahead and installed this bottom plate. There's really nothing to it. You just put the um, M5 by 20s through here and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a... Uh, uh, a lock collar on the bottom of my acne here and put a 688ZZ uh, on here. I already ground these down, the ends of this acne down. Uh, I think I showed you in a previous video that, that, that these sometimes can be a little bigger uh, than, than the inside of the 688ZZ. So these are already, sand, uh, already sandpapered down, so you'll have to do that on this one as well. I'm going to go ahead and just put that stuff, do it when you see the video, and just put this stuff right here. There's a better way to do this, drop it down from the top, but I said I was doing a great job and got bored when I installed the wrong one. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. <coughs> right in here like a glove and let me make sure there we go I didn't hit the lock collar yet so we got that in our track now what I want to do is go ahead and run the Acme down get it inside the lock collar and the 688ZZ 
kind of restricted with the camera. Normally I'd just turn this thing around or flip it upside down, uh, something to that effect, but I'm trying to keep it where you guys can see. All right, so that's down. It's down through my 688ZZ. I'm basically gonna follow suit with the top here. And it left just enough friction for that to hold on there. I'm going to act like I did that on purpose. Okay, and our 5 by 20s first video I couldn't find uh, I found out who ran off with them it was me <laughs> they're sitting under a quad frame Alright, so this isn't set to any particular height just yet, this Acme isn't, it looks like it's hard to grab. What I'm going to have to do is try to turn the entire frame around so I can get to these lock collars. I want to get the bearing recessed all the way into there and uh, tighten this down. So it's not set at any particular height. I in particular don't like any Acme hanging down below uh, that bottom threaded, uh, bottom uh, C-beam plate. It just gives something the opportunity to hang on there. So I try not to let any hang down from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this top rock cover because I don't really have any act hanging down. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing up on the bearing, pushing up on the bearing and pushing up on the lock collar against the bearing and tightening the bearing into the recess that's on this plate. I'm going to do the same with the lower. Alright, let me add the coupler. This is a 6.35 by 8 coupler. Put the 8. So, looks like we have drive. Um, See, it almost wants, it, it will fall on most, you know, not all the way, but will fall on its own. You're going to find when we get this built and up together that this NEMA motor will have to stay on uh, while you're machining because if you turn it off, it will fall. Um, this thing's pretty darn heavy, you know, we, we don't want a lot of friction in our wheels, so that's what that's all about. All right. Now... We'll go ahead and install our NEMA stepper motor. Let's see if I can raise this up just a touch here without messing up the video. There we go. I'm going to face, face my wires back. Um, you can face them any direction you want.
note later about uh, or make a video later about if you have a certain indication in your cut what to look for and such um, I don't use limit switches uh, I want to add them to this design that'll be probably integrated with one of the beta testers um, but if for any insta reason you run past an axis such as the Z diving too far down or going too far up if there's a failure we want this coupling, coupling and our lock collars to fail first meaning we want them to uh, unthread or come loose of the Acme it's, it's better than destroying anything else and it's kind of nice with these drive systems because that's exactly what will happen um, I believe that's going uh, to be the same scenario on the tension rods versus this compression is that if something has to give it will either be current of the stepper motor will be overridden you'll just hear some clicking um, you're not damaging anything or the uh, again if you have the, the amperage up kind of high you'll you'll see a lock collar will let go you got a set screw on it it's into the acne it'll let go if you do do that you need to stop and check all your axes um, if this either the coupler lets go or the uh, lock collar lets go you'll find play in the axis like right now we're perfectly tight but you'll find some play in the axis uh, whatever axis it is so that'll be something to look out for but that's about it guys and we're ready to roll the next step